Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody is having a great, great Monday. <clears throat> this has been kind of a crazy season, I will say, at the very least. Um, you think about how low we felt. We literally felt lower than a snake's belly. We were literally whale shit. You know how low whale shit is? It's at the bottom of the ocean. After we lost to San Francisco and then we lost to the Eagles and the Eagles were flying Eagles fly. And we looked at this and basically had ourselves figuring, well, at least we look like a playoff team. I had a guy who literally said they can't enjoy watching the Dallas Cowboys because they can't be good teams. And I was like, man, get out of here with that stuff. I said, I don't want to hear that crap. Well, here we are. We're the number two seed. And it is Monday. And the tables have turned somehow. It's not how you start. It's not how you do in the middle. It's how you do in the end. And in the end, we played well enough to get the number two seed. And we're getting ready to go into the playoffs. And we end up having some great news. Um besides beating the commanders besides being five and one in our division besides being 12 and five for the third season in a row besides having the potential to have two if we win playoff games at minimum at at and we did have bad news yesterday because we saw stefan gilmore go down and i'm in the stands it was crazy being in the stands uh, you know i love going to games games are incredible meeting the fans it is in I just loved it. It's hard to know actually what's going on. It's not the same as being at home. You've got all the replays and everything else. And when you're in a garbage-ass stadium without, you know, 60-yard screen, you can't really see what happens. All I know is Stefan Gilmore went down on the sidelines and couldn't see what happened. And I heard somebody say that he had a broken arm. And they were talking about somebody else. And it was like, I was like, oh, my God, no, not a Bryce. Just not before the playoffs. You know, Stephon Gilmore was <laughs> Stephon Gilmore was an incredible move this offseason for a fifth-round pick. And we need him for the playoffs because we always seem to lose guys at the playoffs. Well, he had an MRI today on his right shoulder. It was a soldier injury. And he said um, it popped out and popped back in. And the MRI came back and confirm that there is no significant damage. And so Stefan Gilmore is going to be okay. He's going to, right now, I, I, I'm, I'm almost mystified. Now, I know Zach Martin was inactive yesterday. Uh, Tyra Smith played uh, things, but, and Hankins played. And I remember the first play of the game, uh, the commanders had like a screen pass that went for about nine, 10 yards, but Hankins was in on the tackle. So Big Hank is back. Big Hank is back, and I can guarantee you Zach Martin will be back. And to know that Stephon Gilmore is healthy, this is about as healthy as we've been going against the Green Bay Packers. Fortunately, the Green Bay Packers, that's without Aaron Rodgers. And I'm wondering, I am actually curious about this one. Um, if Aaron Rodgers wishes maybe he was still in Green Bay to play the Cowboys in the first round of the playoffs, I'm just asking for a friend. But. What's interesting is, you know, there's the whole philosophy of, you know, should the Cowboys have played the way they should? You know, they, they kind of had it set up. Or, or when they started hearing that, you know, the Eagles were getting beat, that A.J. Brown had gotten hurt, that um, uh, um, Jalen Hurts was hurting, if maybe they should have started pulling their players sooner so that way they don't risk injury. And a wise man, this is a comment from a wise person that tells you why that's wrong. Let, 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 let me get it for you. The career Devin Super Jagos pull the starters. Cowboys going to win. Remember, I said, of course you got to play your stars. What, what is this? What is this? 
What do you mean, don't play your Of course you play your starters. You have a chance to win the division. What the fuck you talking about? The fuck you talking about? You want to have a little tea party? It's football, man. You play fucking football. The fuck you talk about? You sit people when you have a division on the line. No, you don't sit people. Probably remember 13 months. Now Washington will win and this player will lose. I hope not. I hope we don't lose them. Lewis Davis Super Chat, he goes, this is one of you guys that wanted us to play. You fucking play your starters when the division's on the line, moron. Davis Super Chat, but that's such stupid shit. God, you guys want to play tea, tea time? Tea time with the Eagles? Let's play tea time with the Eagles. The division's on the line. Of course you play your starters. You don't sit them. Shit, man. What the fuck is going on, Washington? They, you don't sit your starters when you have a division chance to win. What kind of shit is that? God, what do we play? Let's tea time with the Eagles. Hey, let's have a look here. Oh, yeah. Hey, Giants, how you doing? We sit no starters, even though we can win the division. So there you have it from the expert. You don't rest your starters. You go ahead, you play them, you keep them in shape, you roll the dice on them and see where it goes. Um, yeah, so right now we are in a good position. Now, of course, everything, you know, it's playoffs. And this is where you realize, and I want, want to be truthful in advertising. Now, people are like, oh, you're trolling the Eagles and everything else is karma. Now, let's be clear here, okay? It's going to be what it's going to be, okay? You can blame me. I had people literally yesterday um, commenting as the game's going on that I'm the bad luck. We lost because you were there. It's like, come on, dude, seriously. Everybody wants to point a finger and try and find a reason, but the thing is, shit just happens. Shit just happens we want to try and explain it away but there is no rhyme or reason to anything you can do something a hundred times and nothing ever happens and the hundred and first one it does it's not because there's somebody up there hexing you or you know uh, jinxing you or whatever it just happens now football is crazy sometimes you get opportunities that maybe Shouldn't really happen. It doesn't make any sense. The fact that the Green Bay Packers turned their season around and made the playoffs, you could look at the Rams with the same thing where we blew them out. But the Cowboys right now, they've got one game and one team to focus on in front of them, and that's the Green Bay Packers. And that should be Mike McCarthy's opportunity to say, yeah, I got to get some payback to a team that ended up letting me go and blaming me for everything when really a lot of the problem belonged with Aaron Rodgers. And this is time for the Cowboys to say we're going to have some home cooking. We're going to have the stadium full of a whiteout. And we need to show up and show off and do that shit and get a win. All right, good people. I hope you join us for our live stream tonight. I am still very, very sad at the loss, losses of the masses of Eagle fans. <sighs> All right, Eddie, I'll see you guys tonight for our live stream, 9 o'clock Eastern.